Hello guys, this is Jinho here. I'm going to show you a cafe board that you will learn how to build during the course. So let's get started. Let me just call out the board. Alright, you will first be greeted by the board. You will receive a welcome uh, greeting message which you can customize. So for this example, um, yeah, hi, the username. Do you want latest news, promotions and offers sent to your messenger? Yeah, sure, of course. So below is actually the quick reply, so you don't have to type. Okay, you are set to receive our latest update. Okay, you then be presented this company logo. Uh, for this example, I'm using Bandit Coffee. It's not a real cafe in Singapore, it's just a mock-up. And you have some description below welcoming the user. And you have a, it's a simple menu, you can actually display uh, beverages, uh, there's a three buttons, beverages, location and feedback. So for now, I'll just, uh, let's look at the beverages. Okay, you will be presented, this is what we call a gallery. So you can actually upload the images of your product. For this case, it's the coffee, the blueberry soda, and then title, description. And then you can have buttons below as well. So this is all customizable. <clears throat> you can change the image as you want. You can have a square or horizontal images. Later you will have a look at the horizontal images. Okay, so let's say I want to look at the locations. So location, okay, this is the horizontal display. This is how it looks like. So this is good to display the your cafe or your store's location, different area. Below there's a, you can look at the, see the address. So there's also a contact buttons which for example you can call. Um, you can set different numbers for different store. And then for opening hours, let's look at the Esplanade. Opening hours. This is, as, this is very useful because um, your user can actually self-help find out what is your store opening hours without having to call and ask. And then this is another cool feature is actually the con get directions, which I personally like a lot. So especially useful when your user or your customers keep getting lost or asking for directions how to get there. So please type and send your location. So first your bot will actually ask to send your current location. So the user need to share their current location. So for this case, let me just use a demo. I'll just pick a North Point City. Then you'll be presented this menu um, where you click, you'll be displaying a step-by-step -step, uh, menu um, directions from a Google map. This is a web view. Start navigation. Okay, now you can see. So on top of the address is actually a North Point City, which the address that I shared just now. So to the location Esplanade Mall, which you can see over here. So if your user customers have um, this Google Map app installed in their phone, they can actually um, bring the navigation to their app itself. This is especially useful if let's say you are driving. So for this example, I'm not going to use that. Okay. So let's head back to the main menu. So we have seen the location. I'm going to show you another cool feature which um, is very exciting. Um, we we'll head back to the privileges. It is to make payment, um, credit accept credit card payment within within this messenger app itself. So this is pretty powerful. So okay, let me see. Okay, say take away. I want to take away. So the user or your customers can actually make a purchase inside this messenger app, right? So which outlet do you want to collect your beverages from? Okay, example, I'm actually having a a lunch in the middle of my lunch, and I'm going to take away this. I'm going to take away this blueberry soda back to the office, which is um, near Iron Orchard. I can place an order here. Make your choice. Okay, this is another form of display. We call it a list display, and it's a summarized version of the galleries. Okay, you can customize all this information as well. So I'm gonna click buy. So, so there's a checkout functions. You can actually change your name. Which, um, 
this is actually auto filled by the information you have stored in the Facebook so it's actually pretty convenient you choose your payment mode and then okay, just an example I'm not going to do that and then okay, let's close it so this is the pay function you also be covered in the course so let's head back to the menu by the way once they make a purchase um, in this um, bot itself I've made a sequence an um, auto trigger sequence that once they make a purchase after 15 minutes they will be receiving a message calling the user to actually upload the upload a photo with the drinks together um, as a form of marketing campaign and then they can actually publish uh, in the Instagram and then hashtag or even tag your company um, Instagram account so they will, they will win a, maybe a coupon or a free drinks later on or something like that so this is something that you can do which I call it a schedule messaging campaign which will also be in the course as well so now we are back so the last thing will be the feedback buttons uh, in this uh, menu options this is the easiest and simplest way to collect feedback from the user okay let's check this out Let's to hear from you. Let's know how we fare. Okay, so I'm going to share your feedback. Okay, so this is a free form text which the user can type in any text that they want, just like the way they uh, do a messaging. So it's very convenient. It's very easy to use. So let's just say I love the coffee. And then one good example is that uh, during when you ask for a free form kind of a text you will always allow your user to edit because sometimes they type wrongly and they ac accidentally press the send button so you need to have this functionality to allow them to make changes they want so just to reconfirm the message that they want to send so right now okay no typo everything is all right so i click the send button so what this does in the back end is that um, um, it will actually trigger a, a email sent to the page owner or the business owner directly this information what you see up there your feedback I love your coffee so you send directly to the to the e any email uh, your owner email or even the staff email or the whichever in charge email okay so let's back to the menu this is just part of the course that's all for now and thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.